Lion's Sight. Services for the blind and visually impaired. Graphic of a lion's head in black and white on a gray background. So we're now going to have a facilitated conversation, a group conversation, and I have some questions. I have some questions about these two books. She was the first, The Trailblazing Life of Shirley Chrisholm, and then I have some questions about, hello, I'm Johnny Cash. So we talked about these two big ideas, morals and ethics. And we talked about how rules, ideas, and the world we live in is controlled by a system of morals and ethics. We also talked about how having only moral rules can be a mistake and having only ethical rules can also be a mistake. So that's a very important conversation to have. Now for the conversation we're going to have, we're going to say that Shirley Chrisholm, her book, was mostly concerned with ethics. We're going to say that Johnny Cash and his book and his story was mostly concerned with morals. Now to be fair, there's a lot of morals in Shirley's story and there's a lot of ethics in Johnny's. But to keep the conversation a little bit clearer, we're going to say that Shirley was very ethical and Johnny was very moral. We're going to say this so that it's easier for us to come up with ideas. But you could always have another conversation later on. And during that other conversation, flip the two. But that's for later on. So, when we look at ethics, ethics is the idea that things are fair on a social agreement. In some ways, we call that the social contract. A contract is an agreement that two people make, two or more people make. When you sit down to play a board game, the rules of the board game is like a contract. It lets you play the game because both players agree to use the same rules. That's an ethical system. If you're playing the game sorry and you have a big board and you're the green player and the other person's the blue player and you roll a number six, you get to move your blue pieces six steps forward. And if you happen to land on somebody else's piece, you get to say sorry and send them back to start. That's how the game works. Because if they roll, let's say, a two, it might be a small number, but it exactly lands them on one of your pieces, they get to send you back to start. So it's a fair game. The die roll is random, but the rules are fixed. That is an ethical system. It tries to reduce the unfairness by making sure everyone plays by the same rules. Though there is some randomness, it's a fair set of rules. That's one way ethics approaches things. Morals is different. Morals will say, is it right or wrong? to send someone back to start. In the ethical system, you can do that. In the moral system, you shouldn't be able to do that. So sometimes morals and ethics clash with each other instead of weaving together. And sometimes morals and ethics weave together. It depends on how you use them. Remember, ethics is a system that is informed by social agreements, 
agreements between people, a social contract. An agreement between people is a social contract. Morals, it's a bit different. It's more like a contract with a higher power, whatever it may be. In the Johnny Cash story, he was a Southern Baptist, which is a type of Christianity. But there are plenty of stories out there that you could read about, for example, about Buddhism or about Islam or about Judaism. There are many stories out there, many, many kinds of stories. Listing them all is impossible, but just giving you a small sample to give you an idea that there's more than just one. But for Johnny Cash, the system of morals he was interested in was Southern Baptism. So we'll talk about that for just a brief moment. There was a section in the book that you may or may not remember where Johnny goes to church and has a religious experience. But his experience is different from his brother. Let's go to that page real quick. This will jog your memory. So remember, Johnny had an older brother named Jack. So there, it's Johnny and Jack. And here's the scene where Johnny is at church and he's speaking to the preacher. Now, the big part that I want to um, remind you of, and this might help you get an idea, for Jack, salvation, this is where we're at right here, for Jack, salvation meant the Bible. For J.R., remember that's Johnny Cash's name before he had a real name. For J.R., it was about the music. That's really important. Because even within a system of morals, people can disagree about the morals. For Jack, it was about the Bible. Jack had a very strict idea of what was moral. It was literally from the Bible. But Johnny over here, he still goes to church, he still listens to the preacher, but he has a bit more of an open mind about what it means. It's for him all about the music. That's why Johnny Cash was a singer, because for him, the music was the salvation. The music was the way to reach people. The music was the way to make change. So people will disagree within systems of morals. They'll disagree within systems of ethics. Obviously, that was the case in Shirley Chrisholm's story, because a lot of people thought that, you know, America is just fine the way it is. Why are you making all this noise, Shirley? There's a section where they talk about that, where Shirley speaks up on behalf of the poor and downtrodden. And that section is here. This is where Shirley begins speaking up on behalf of the other members of her community. And this is a very powerful moment for her. Shirley noticed that people with power and money didn't seem to care about folks who were poor. This bothered her. She remembered how it felt to be poor. So she spoke up and tried to make a difference for people who didn't have power or money. There were people who thought, hey, things are perfectly fine. We have an ethical system. And Shirley disagreed. She said, no, the system can be more ethical. And Johnny Cash had a different view from his brother about morals. He said, you know, I don't think it's necessarily about the Bible. I think it's about the community. And the reason why Johnny was able to work with the community is because he was singing. He was more interested in singing to the people, speaking to the people, speaking to their life, their experiences, their hopes, their dreams, their suffering, and ultimately their dignity. When you respect someone, you are dignifying them. Dignity is a type of respect. Respect is another way of saying dignity. Johnny Cash wanted to dignify people, and he did so through his music. Likewise, Shirley Chrisholm wanted to dignify people, and she did so through politics. 
These are two different people, two different stories, but they had very similar values. And their values were, we want to make the world a better place. And the things that they did, as much as they changed the world around them, started and ended with them. There's one last thing I want to leave you with before we end this reflection. There's an old saying. If you want to change the world, change yourself. Johnny Cash did a lot to change himself. He went through a lot of hardship to get to where he got. And so did Shirley. I bet she didn't like having to shovel out the outhouse and deal with all the cows and animals on the farm when she first got dropped off in Barbados. But she learned, just like Johnny Cash, who worked the fields in Arkansas growing cotton. It's a very difficult thing to do. So, you might look around the world and see things that you don't like. And you might run into rules that you don't agree with. If you don't like those things and you don't like those rules, you really have two choices. One is to throw a fit and have a tantrum and shake your fist and say, it's not fair, it's not fair. Or the other thing to do is to recognize when you see something that's unfair or dishonest, something that you can't ethically agree with, something that you can't morally agree with. And if you see that, be the change, become the change you want to see in the world. If you want to change the world, change yourself. It worked really well for Johnny Cash, and it worked really well for Shirley Chrisholm. I'm Keenan Fry. I appreciate you hanging out for this read-along. We did two books. We talked about a lot of concepts, and I really appreciate your time. I hope you have a nice day, and I look forward to speaking to you again in the future. Take care. Lion's Sight. Regular updates on blind and visually impaired tutorials will be available for all kinds of topics. Thanks for watching.